Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've had a great August. It's been really nice weather here in Victoria. So uh, we've had a great summer and now let's look at the real estate numbers. We've got some stats available for you here on homevictoria.com. If you visit homevictoria.com and you click on market update, it's gonna take you out to um, our report for the month. There's a lot of information in this report. It's a 28 page document. So I've highlighted some of the uh, information and we can take a look at it here. So we've got 1,006 units that we listed. We sold 661 of them. A sell list ratio of about 66%. Our average price per unit is at 685. Our price ratio 98% and days to sell 53. And our active listings that month then 2838. So some of the um, information they pointed out here in this month's report include the fact that we sold 661 properties this August, which is 11% more than the properties we sold last August, but we've decreased uh, from July. So our numbers August over August are up by 11%. And our condominiums are up by 4% from last August. Our sale of single family dwellings increased by 15% since last August. So that's showing us more demand basically across the board. And then August could be considered a status quo month for real estate in Greater Victoria with entry level homes selling quickly when priced appropriately and higher end properties moving at a slower pace. Now we had 2838 active listings at the end of the month, which is a decrease of 3% compared to July, but 12% increase from where we were last August. So we have more supply as well, matching that increase in demand. We have an increase of supply. And when we look at the price HPI indicator for single family dwellings, August, 2018, we were looking at 888, whereas uh, this past August, 847. So that's a 4.6% decrease. And we're down a little from July because July was at 858. Now for condos, last August we were at 503. This August, 518, that's a 2.9% increase. And July was at 523, so slight decrease from July. And then um, what else here? The first time home buyer incentive program has been rolled out. It may only help, it looks like some, maybe some buyers in smaller markets. Let's see how it will work for buyers in our market here in Victoria. And um, they talk a bit about, you know, the mortgage stress test parameters and maybe extending like the mortgage, mortgage amortizations as a solution or a proposal for how to, uh, to deal with some of that. Now this, is our benchmark per, uh, price performance over time. And it shows us here, the red is a single family dwelling, the blue is the townhome and the yellow are the condos. And so this is kind of where we are this past month in and around here. So looks to me like things are kind of, you know, leveling out, flattening out a bit from where they've been. Now our sale to active listings ratio we're just under 30%. And so, you know, when we're into that, uh, well, well, technically when we're above 25%, it's a seller's market still, but we've seen it go as high as 80 plus. So it's not an extreme seller's market. And then when we look again here at trends over time, we've got uh, some history to look back to just to see where we fit in. And this is our blue number is our 2019 number. And so, when we look at units listed, we are somewhere kind of in the middle of the pack here. We're not at either of the extremes. We did list more units in 2016, for instance, and even in 17, slightly more. Units sold, we're looking over here and units sold uh, for blue is here. So we're kind of at the bottom, more or less close to the bottom here. In other words, we sold more units in 2017, 2015, and 2016 in the in August of those years than we did in this one. But we sold more than we did last year in August. And then active listings, so how much inventory? We have more inventory now than we've had in all the years except for 2015. 
We still had more inventory then. And our average sale price per unit is looking uh, online with where it was last year at this time, almost exactly. And above one, two, three, the four and the three other years, basically, and in line with the fourth. And the average days to sell, we're looking at, um, we were selling slower in 2015, but we were faster in these other years than where we are now. So we're slowing down, I guess. Things are slowing down, taking a little longer to sell. And then when we look at the months of inventory for single family dwellings here, we are in line with where we were in 2015. We have more in months of inventory than we had in 17 or 16, but we do have less than what we had last year in terms of this ratio or lower than what we were last year. And for condos, just see, so we um, were above where we were last year, but we're still not back to 15. So that's kind of the same trend we've seen for the last several months here, four months. So we're still not kind of, you know, with excessive amounts of condo inventory, let's say. And the townhome inventory is pretty high because of all the August that we've seen, this is the highest point in terms of how much, how many months of inventory we had to offer, almost at 4.7 or four, close to 4.5 something, can't remember the exact number. And then looking here at South Oak Bay, specifically um we've got a sale we've got about seven months of inventory here in july august we went to four and our sale ratio went from 10 to 16. so that's kind of nice the previous month i think was around four so it was kind of you know was a bit high that number and the sale ratio had dropped off but this is a bit more in line with the norm for that area as we've been trending and then average list price has actually dropped a little about 100K average sale price down by let's say 30 some odd K average assessed also down by another hundred or so. Average days on market, a little bit slower and price per square is pretty much on par. Average sale price to list price 97%. So people are getting on average for this percentage of the market that does in fact sell, they're getting about 97% of what they're asking. Basically, that's kind of where, you know, when you get that 3% range between buyer and seller, you can bring a deal together. If they're too far apart, the deal just stalls out. And then average sale price, assessed value. Um, so we're at 95% average sale price to our assessed. And here are some historic average prices again. This is our single family condo and townhomes over time. So there you have it, an exciting month. Clearly. So if you have any questions about real estate or you have, um, uh, you know, people that are looking to buy and sell in those neighborhoods, or even if you know a tradesperson that is really exceptionally good at what they do, please reach out. You can reach out to us at uh, homevictoria.com. You can sign up for our newsletter here as well. So there's e-newsletter sign up. And if you have any um, recommendations for trades that you think are exceptional, please go ahead and let us know about that. And we can refer people business if we've uh, refer, had good, some good experiences. So really appreciate you guys tuning in and look forward to seeing you again next month. Take care.